Hello guys, welcome to today's video. Now, in this video, we're going to be reacting to the new fighter for Smash Bros Ultimate. So let's get into it. But, um, first of all, I just want to quickly mention before we start the video, if there's any awkward cuts, that's just going to be simply because my mic is bad. You'll see it in this video and the next video that comes up tomorrow. Um, my mic's been acting up a lot recently. So if there's any awkward cuts in this video, it's probably because of my dodgy mic. Um, anyway, let's get into it. So there's a new fighter, this could literally be anyone. I swear if it's another sword fighter, like by lift, right. We already got eight fire emblem characters, they're all sword fighters, and we've got so many other sword fighters. We do not need another fucking anime sword fighter. So if I get another one, I swear. Ooh. I wonder how this is gonna transition into the next one. Oh, so he gets knocked out and he goes to a different mode. Oh, blocks! I think I know where this is going. It does all the blocks. That's a spider from my. The, the, the Enderman eyes, this is Minecraft, dude. Skeleton noises, yep. Literally, this is Minecraft. Yo! Steve. Steve walks a block, dude. Our savior has come. <laughs> I love how Mario is just. <laughs> just there, like super shocked. Creeper, dude. So, what's the Minecraft map is gonna be like? Is it gonna like transition? Is it gonna like circle around the Minecraft bit? Wait a minute, is this guy a sword fighter? Dude, we literally just got, so instead of getting an anime sword fighter, we just got a pixelated blocky, blocking one. Oh, so he has crafting abilities. Yeah, people predict you'd have that. Oh, nice, you can have relics as well. I bet you would get like a zombie skin and shit like that. You can, that is so, this, like some of this stuff, I wonder how it's going to work. Also, if they're physics like that, they probably had to like redo all the levels or like make physics that work for all the. Uh... Yep, zombie. Told you. Zombie spawns in. So is this a clone fighter or is this just an alternative skin? Enderman steps on the shadows. It looks kind of short because it's uh, meant to be two blocks tall in this instead of three blocks. Yo! <laughs> It's meant to be a pumpkin snake, not a box, but... Wait, th if there's eight ults, how does... Oh, dude, this is some mad stuff. Okay, that's... Oh, and there's TNT and there's mobs everywhere, man. I love how he just stands there eating as well. Dude, this is so cool. Literally. This is like... This is like the best DLC character. This is... I bought the DLC pack in the first place to see someone like Steve join, and now he's finally in. So is Alex and the zombie and the enemies, so... Yeah, oh wait, there's still more. There's still more. I thought it was over. It's not. I just thought I'd say right here as well is that um, there's um, only four alts here, even though in Ultimate there's eight alts. So I wonder if it's just going to be a different color of these lot or if it's going to be other skins. So how do you pick new friends? Oh wait, they probably had to like redo every level to be adaptable with like their building mechanics. Just think they they build on like flat, blocky terrain, so. Because it does happen by magic, Nintendo magic. I'm joking. Yep, here we go, here's the dev side of shit. This is gonna be literally 
っきりビシッと言ってやりましたよ。はい、できます。まあ、企画するだけなら、パパッと考えられます。グラフィックは考え。いや、グラフィックは、ビシッと言ってやりましたよ。グリーだと思います。サウンドは、他のファイター並みかなと、要素は多いけれども。I wonder if they have voice lines though. No, they don't really need to implement the voices. プログラマーが大変です。死にます。えー、そして、えー、ステージ、全部のステージに対して、yep. えー、ブロックを置くという要素を入れたら、ステージを置くと言われたら、バイオンはどうするんだとか、えー、そういうような要素もあります。あと、なんといっても、企画なり、えー、ゲームバランスの調整なりについては、もうすでに未知の領域と言ってもいいぐらいですね。その、えー、体重とか、リーチの短さみたいなものも含めて、Ooh. うまくまとめるのはとっても難しいです。戦法もすごく変わったものになるでしょうね。Yeah, they are probably going to be a very unusual fight. Most DLC characters are very unusual fighters. Only like characters like Byleth have actually managed to fit in well. 参戦をした次第です。参戦ムービーである程度分かったこともあるとは思うんですけれども。それ以上のいろいろなプレゼントというのは。I love how they kinda can crouch as well, that's cool. I wonder if they're ducking, it's just gonna be crouching. And you can't actually walk off ledges when you crouch and move off. So. Oh, yeah, there's a video coming out tomorrow on like how to play these characters, so. マインクラフトライブの直前に機械を持ち、改めて説明することが決まりました。私ももちろん、マインクラフトはプレイしてますよ。えー、クラフトモードで、えー、ビレー建築などはしないですけれどもサバイバルモードで生き残りや街の繁栄などを楽しんでいたりします、うん、とりあえず今日はここまで後日放送のスティーブ・アレックスの使い方放送をお楽しみにしてくださいそれではあんなのライブは t was the coolest DLC trailer for Smash Ultimate ever.、Right? Out of every trailer I have seen, which is all of them except f r o m the Min Min one, which was the last one, which I still need to react to, I'll upload that one very soon、um, just so everything's、um, up to date because I haven't actually seen that yet. But this is cool. When I first, like the moment he crashed into the cave, where is it? Here? And you saw them stones. I knew it was Minecraft straight away. But it's so cool. After so long. After literally, think about this way. Ball's been out. I mean, yeah, Ball and Minecraft came around the same time, right? So ever since Minecraft came out, like a year after Ball came out, everyone's just been waiting and waiting for Minecraft to get into the game. People waited literally like 10 years for Minecraft to finally get into a Smash Bros. game. And here it is, finally done. Same Banjo Kazooie. That's why this is why people freak out so much, especially over the really requested characters, because people like characters like Steve and Banjo are characters we have waited for an extremely long time for.、Um, obviously, the characters like Bylev, who were just kind of like straight away introduced and then put in the game straight away, it's it, like. The weight, I mean, it's still really cool to see them in the game, it's just that the weight doesn't feel as rewarding. So, when there's a character you've wanted in the game to be in the game for like 10 years and they finally put them in the game, it's like the best thing ever. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know by subscribing down below or liking the video or commenting what your thoughts are on.、Um, I don't know, Minecraft DLC, what you think the stage might be called, or whatever. And also put your opinion down below, right? Of what was your favourite DLC trailer so far? And as well, if you think Steve will be either average, bad, or OP when obviously playing as him or fighting against him, right? Do you think Steve's going to be an OP character?、Um, All the time, like Hero, do you think he's going to be OP in certain situations, or do you just think he's going to be average or bad? I don't know. I mean, it could be any of those situations really with Steve, because obviously it's a very unique cat, and it's more of a it's more of a, like a sit and wait and build kind of it's more of like a survival way of playing the game rather than instead of rushing at the opponent, 
you have to kind of hold back and build contraptions so when they will eventually walk into them um yeah it sets them off a bit like isabel's downbeat but obviously that's literally every move mixed obviously with sword fighting again but imagine you can use sword fighting for other stuff as well so yeah all in all this looks like a good DLC I'm really excited I really want it to come out very soon I'm probably gonna have to buy yeah, I'm probably gonna buy the this season's fighter pass as well because I bought the last one um, we did a few videos on it as well it's actually pretty good um, anyway I will see you guys in the next video goodbye